Welcome to globalytraining.com. Globalytraining.com offers online courses covering various software technologies. New courses are added on a regular basis. You can email us at training at globalytraining.com or you can call us at 732-588-6564. Hello. Uh, in this video, I will walk you through the process of installing a QTP software, I mean uh, uh, UFT software. Uh, UFT 12.0 uh, is available in two formats in terms of download. Uh, one is um, a zipped file version, which is approximately 1.7 gigs, I believe, and a compressed version, which is a .exe, and that is approximately 730 megs, kind of half the size of the zip file. Uh, I have downloaded both uh, just so that you can, uh, you know, you can watch. I mean to say, you know, you know the, that you have two options available. And I have also unzipped the zipped file so that I can directly start installing the software. You can also use the .exe version. And what it does is it will, uh, you know, extract the contents of the .exe into a temporary location once you double click it and then it will kick off the installation process so um, it doesn't matter which route you take the most of the installation process is the same except the beginning where the .exe extracts the contents to your temporary folder and then kicks off the actual install and whereas zip version you actually unzip it and you start the install process so the folder here contains the contents of the zip file double clicked it and uh, there's a just locate the setup.exe file in the folder double click it and you're now presented with uh, EFT uh, menu and in this the very first link you have uh, UFT setup. Click on it. So the OS had presented you with a user account control prompt. Click S for that. Okay, the next button is enabled. Go ahead and click on it. Accept the license. Click next. Here you have an option to select the uh, add ins um, depending on your uh, requirement. Uh, you pick your options. So I'll go ahead and pick the most common ones. Pick Java, .NET, and uh, that should be it. I mean, if you're testing SAP application, you can pick SAP related add-in. If you're doing a PeopleSoft, you can pick the PeopleSoft add-in as well. So I just picked Java and .NET. Clicking next year, accepting the defaults, clicking the install button. Okay, the installation is done. Uh, I have unchecked the open readme file and I'll go ahead and click finish. Okay, uh, the installation is complete and you have the shortcuts on the desktop to start the software and also, you know, it includes another shortcut to access the run results viewer. So the installation is done. Thank you for watching this video.